We all love cameras, and of course AI is the uh, center of absolutely everything at CES these days. I'm in the Slim Design booth, and they promised the world's first miniaturized, affordable AI body camera. That's all the buzzwords. Anyway, I'm here with Walter Koenigs, and he's going to tell us all about it. Yes, thank you for, uh, for having me. Um, we are a design agency. We develop consumer electronics for, for a lot of companies. We've done a lot of cameras. For instance, MSI, a 360 camera, for Panasonic and other, yeah. So, and we also do body cameras. So when we were developing the body cameras for the Dutch police, we saw that there's a sort of a, uh, a lot of other uh, uh, use cases, use cases and, 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 and also uh, professionals would like a small camera that's cheap, but they don't get one because it's too expensive. So like bus drivers and all that. So what we set out to do is make a very small camera that uses your phone as the hardware. So it's, it stores on the phone and it also uses the, the, the connection, uh, the connectivity of the phone. So we can make the camera small and very cheap. And that's uh, basically what we set so out. Is it over Bluetooth or what is the connectivity? We have a, uh, uh, yeah, our, own, our own connectivity. So, and that's the some, something yeah, so that we develop. Ourselves. Proprietary network yeah. between yeah. the two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking at it right now. This is a video and audio podcast. So I'm going to explain okay. a lot. Sure. So it looks to be about maybe not even two inches across and maybe a half an inch, three quarters of an inch tall. And uh, it's got a big red uh, oval on it telling people I'm recording you right now. Yes. Correct? And uh, so how does it work? How do you enable it? What is it how so does it if, work? So if you press it for a long press, it starts the alarm. And the alarm is then sent to a pre-selected uh, emergency contact. So then it's somebody, or, or your father or maybe somebody else. Or it can be the back end of a security company uh, that, uh, that has uh, people watching. Um, and here you see a, a demo of that. Um, so it's basically for families, persons themselves, or for more more professional that they also can use it. So I'm wearing that uh, the the uh, body cam uh, phone cam, okay. and I'm wearing it because I'm going to walk down a dark alley at CES, and some dodgy person starts coming towards me. I press and hold for the alarm, but I'm also recording at the same time. Yes, yes. So it's then sent to the clouds. So whenever somebody then grabs it of you, it's still the the, the footage and and the, and yeah, it's, it's still in the clouds, and you can use it later for for in court or anything. So that's okay. Basically. So what is the, um, if it's going to the cloud, then it's, it's going from there, from the, the phone cam to the phone up to the cloud. Yes. And then uh, is, are there other uses for that data for, for viewing it? I mean, are you going to do a kid's birthday party with this? What sure, is sure. You can, you can also just record things and, and have it as a GoPro kind of thing. Um, but also uh, we see a lot of uh, use cases where people that are working in the remote areas and they don't have all the expertise, they can then just press the button, the call goes to uh, a backend where there's an expert that can help them then do things that they don't uh, normally do. So you see now then uh, tasks can be done by less uh, qualified personnel uh, that can then uh, do, do things that otherwise they wouldn't. So we can become re remote control devices to people smarter than us Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even when there's an ambulance, they can, uh, the doctor can already look into the, uh, the patients, uh, what has to be done, um, what, what can they advise uh, the ambulance personnel, and they also can prepare it in the hospital um, uh, how to, to, to yeah. Uh, when Take care when of them in some way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so how much is phone cam going to cost? It's uh, $69. Oh, you're serious about affordable? Yes, yes. So and um, so, yeah. Basically, it's it's it. Yeah, that's that's just what we set out to do: is to make it as cheap as possible to uh, to be able to um, to have all the connectivity that you can. That's really really interesting. So, if people wanted to look up uh, PhoneCam, where would they go? Uh, PhoneCam.io. Oh, very good. Oh, wait, I forgot one question. That was my question earlier. What's AI about it? Uh, we have now um, uh, um, um, low light enhancements. But we're already now partnering up with a lot of uh, companies that would like to use our phone cam because it uses the CPU of the, t of the phone, it can do much more than a lot of other uh, cameras can because it's much more advanced. The CPU in the t phone is much more advanced than, than normal cameras. So you're cameras. opening up an, a an API where they can get access to the data? Yeah. Okay, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. All right, thank you very much.